when our kids are playing a contact or collision sport, we want to make sure that we've ruled out completely heat illness and we know if they are having some of these symptoms, it could most likely be a concussion if they got a hard hit to the head or got some impulsive force that traveled through their body. Education obviously defeats fear. The more we know and are empowered as parents, the better we can protect our children, make sure that we do not go through any exertional heat illness ever. Um, a big one, get a physical, make sure you're cleared by your child's pediatrician to practice, to play, whatever that looks like, make sure they're healthy enough to participate safely in sports. You have to advocate for your kids, you have to look out for your kids' safety first and foremost. And, and the reason that we're all here is because we, we're concerned about health and safety is number one, competition is number two. Concussions can happen with normal hitting. Um, if it's a big hit, that's when you definitely want to interact with that kid afterwards. So I always say be alert on the sideline. If you see a big hit, someone from the coaching staff or the athletic trainer um, should be interacting with that kid shortly afterwards to make sure they're okay. If it's in the regular field of play, nobody notices that it's off the ball, so it's unwitnessed. Um, those are ones where it's the culture and the environment where you, you have to have the kid discuss the symptoms. You have to have the kid report on their own. Um, so that's what makes it really tough because they don't really want to and if the culture's not there for them to do that, they absolutely won't even if they want to. Um, so the toughest part with concussion is we are, for the most part, beholden to our athletes to report how they feel. It's, it's the education, it's the constant talking about it and the positive interactions about reporting symptoms. Now if I say squeeze, squeeze, boom, I can see is your chest up. If your chest is up, you're already in a good spot. Sink. Sink. Your knees should be over your toes. Your chest should be up, your butt on your heels. You ready? No. Great, ups. Uh, hey listen, <laughs> USA football is all about building confidence. <laughs> Ask your group, whatever team your son or daughter plays on, are you heads up certified? And if not, why? Because at the end of the game, you're making the game safer, not softer, okay? In the old school days of putting the helmet on and just shaking it, those days are over. Because with concussions, just running rapid, to me, as a, as a parent with four kids, if they're not heads up certified, my kids aren't playing. Hey, feet, 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 squeeze, 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 sink, sink, sink. hands, hands, <laughs> girl. Two times.